So, Seraphim Space Camp is a world-leading space tech accelerator focused on access to capital, access to corporates, and inspiration. This is the start of the journey from science fiction to science fact. We're looking for bleeding edge technologies and potentially pioneering entrepreneurs. And we're doing this globally with our accelerator. And it perfectly complements the activity with the fund. So why did we launch an accelerator in the first place? Well, it's almost impossible for people to create monumental success on their own. And we had all the components to be the go-to accelerator globally for space tech startups. With our networks and our skills and our expertise, we're able to select the top companies globally from a deal flow we're seeing. With our expertise, we can select those that we believe have a potential to demonstrate venture scale with their businesses. And we've got incredible networks as well. We understand the corporate challenges that are being faced by some of the world's leading space primes. And those corporates can help us validate the market opportunities, validate the technology, and they can genuinely accelerate the path to market for the startups we're engaging with. They can give them space heritage and they can validate that technology and the market. They can do proof of concepts, they can do pilots, all key validators for the investors. And ultimately, through our network, we've identified some of the world's leading space entrepreneurs who've been there and done it already, who've built billion dollar companies, who've built companies to billions of users. And they are the ideal people to inspire this new generation of entrepreneurs we're working with. So why have we done this? Well, for us, it's building a firehouse or a fire hose of qualified long-term deal flow. And we have options to invest into all of the companies we take through the accelerator. This is a core component of our inception to exit playbook. For any entrepreneur at any stage in their journey, we want to have a product and a service to support that journey. And the accelerator is the start of that process. It means when we look at later stage investments, when we look at the B rounds, the C rounds, we can invest $25 million with real conviction. Because we've known these companies from inception. We've known the people behind the businesses, and we really understand those businesses as well. We've known them for maybe three, four, five, six years. It's a unique mechanism to build a long-term pipeline through programmatic due diligence. When we choose these companies, we're spending 12 weeks with these companies. You really get to know the personalities, the people behind the businesses at that stage. We have a good understanding through the accelerator, not just on the validity of the company itself, but on the ability of the team to execute. Through this program, we can identify the category leaders early and really influence their chances of success. And it gives us deep insight into the latest trends and the competitive landscape globally. And it also gives us a platform to build relationships with all the key players in the ecosystem, from the universities to the investors, the space agencies, corporates and governments. And we've built a significant network in that area already, specifically with the venture capital community globally. So who do we look to accelerate? Well, we're looking for the Tony Starks. We, across the space ecosystem globally, we're looking to identify the top 2% of pre-A stage businesses. We're looking for pre-incorporated companies, companies at inception, typically companies that are less than three years old and pre-series A. We're looking for those entrepreneurs that have the potential to define and be category leaders. And the potential to be real pioneers in space tech. Typically, these companies have raised between a quarter of a million and three million at a point of engagement with Space Camp. But in some instances, these companies are spinning straight out of university or they haven't raised any money at all. But we give them that critical platform to the investor audience early. 
So we're accelerating their commercial development and we're reducing their time to capital and the market. It's an intense program and it has to be. Typically we've seen that 75% um, of the entrepreneurs we've been working with are PhD level astrophysicists, quantum scientists, engineers. If you speak to any of those people when they come on our program, typically in a 10 minute presentation you're going to get 9 minutes of 55 seconds on science. And the big surprise is, as I'm sure you know, we don't invest into science. We invest into huge addressable markets and teams that can execute. So our role is really to get them investment ready, to help them to better understand how to articulate the value proposition for their business and to open up those pools of capital that want to work with us because we're doing the filtering, the selecting and we're supporting these companies. We give them 20 full days across an 11 week programme. 300 plus hours of investment readiness training delivered by us, the world's leading investor in the sector. We give them over 300 hours of support from ourselves and also our corporate partners who enable us to deliver this program. We also engage them in multiple fireside conversations with some of the world's leading entrepreneurs to really change their aspirations about the kind of businesses they want to build and deliver. We have our own dedicated entrepreneur in residence team, people who are there on a daily basis to really support this journey. And ultimately, this culminates in two big pitch events. The initial one is the corporate day, which actually, as we're live in mission nine of Space Camp at the moment, is happening tomorrow. That's when we first introduce these early stage companies to some of the world's biggest corporates, the likes of Airbus, Utelsat, Imarsat, who are operating in the space sector. But the big one for the companies is the investor showcase. We now mobilise upwards of 300 VCs globally to engage with our companies at the investor showcase. And for us, it's all about building their capacity to that end date. And these are some of the corporates, just an example of some of the current corporates we've been working with at Space Camp. And they choose to work with us because we are essentially outsourced innovation scouting for these organisations. They come to us with their challenges, they tell us about their areas of technology interest. And we can map that across to our pipeline of companies that we're seeing globally. It's highly informative to us as to what the industry is looking for, but ultimately we will only choose venture scale businesses to work with. And we're already seeing pilots, proof of concepts and investments coming from these organisations. It's not just about the corporates, it's about the agencies as well. Agencies enable companies to leverage grant funding as well and access technology delivery programmes and also the platform they provide. We've built a global alumni already. Our current accelerator is headquartered in the UK, but we have been operating globally since 2018. And here are some of the companies that are represented by our deal flow and the companies we've chosen. And this mirrors across to the existing Seraphim portfolio in terms of geographic coverage. We're expanding to the US this year. We are going to run a program in parallel to our UK headquartered one, which will cover the European time zone and that will launch in September of this year in uh, the Bay Area. Next year, we're looking to expand to Asia Pacific as well, potentially Singapore. So we'll be covering the European time zone, the US time zone, and also the Asia Pac time zone. And we're already seeing deal flow from across the globe to support us building the accelerator on the ground in these territories. We expect to have 45 new companies joining the alumni next year as we expand to running four accelerator programs. Um, and then by 2023, in total, we expect to have upwards of 130 companies representing the top 2% globally of a pre-A stage space tech startups. And all of these companies, we have options to invest into. And Space Camp is just the start. This is all about the alumni. 
So this is the timeline. We're currently in mission nine of the accelerator right now. The companies will graduate, the six we have, in early July. And then we will start two programs in parallel in September in the UK and the US. And here is the alumni. And we're already seeing the stats starting to move on these companies as they move from pre-seed to seed and VA rounds are starting to come through. And again, the alumni mirror across to the kind of companies we've been looking at um, with the main fund as well. And just under 15% of these companies have now progressed into the fund as well as investments. So a couple of examples of the companies we've been working with and why the accelerator is so relevant to the success of the fund. Zone Space Systems. James has already told you about what they do. I was first introduced to the CEO and founder of Zona Space Systems at a London Business School MBA event back in May or April 2019. As the space guy, I was introduced to a potential space entrepreneur. Brian told me about what he was looking to do, a precision GPS constellation in low Earth orbit. I was quite taken aback. You know, that is a big vision for something you want to do as a very young entrepreneur. So I asked him, what is your heritage? What have you done before that gives me some conviction that you can execute on this? He said, well, I was the guy who was given Elon Musk's napkin by Elon Musk that had his design for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. I was head of propulsion, and I built those propulsion systems at SpaceX. I've gone back to all my mates from Stanford University, and I've pulled together the 10 best engineers in the world to do a LEO GPS constellation. I thought, perfect, what an ideal candidate to come on our accelerator. He came on, pre-incorporated, and at the end of the program, he'd validated that there was a strong opportunity and really understood from us how to raise capital in this market. Since then, since he graduated from the accelerator, we closed an early seed investment round with Peter Thiel for PayPal found a seed round of a million dollars. Uh, last year, they closed a, a seed round of eight million, which included backing from the likes of Toyota Ventures. And they're launching their first demonstration satellites on the SpaceX mission on May the 25th. A second company I'll mention is here today as well. We first met Anthony Baker from Satellite View in September, or probably a little bit before that, of 2019. If you don't know Anthony, he's a veteran of the satellite industry, has had remarkable sec success in growing companies for other big corporates. This was his own startup. What Anthony didn't have was an understanding of the venture capital ecosystem and the networks. And Space Camp gave him the ideal platform to really understand how to build that business and how to sell it to our network. We led around in April 2021, a five million round. Since that point, they've gone on to raise a further 20 million last year. And we've helped mobilize some of the leading investors around. And they're looking at satellite launches next year. So these, uh, these are examples of some of the really early stage, essentially off-market deals that we have access to with the accelerator that ultimately will graduate through to the main fund. So what have we achieved to date? Well, if you look at the figures, we're not far off creating a billion dollar deal flow with the companies that have already gone through the accelerator. 55 companies have been accelerated to date across eight cohorts or eight programs. 65% of those companies have already closed funding. And if you include the existing term sheets, which are close to completion, then we'll be hitting 92% of those companies have been funded. 98% are still active. This is not just a deep tech accelerator, this is a space tech accelerator. We've only lost one company since 2018, which shows, I think, that we're selecting the right companies, and that's why other VCs want to work with us. $149 million has been invested by VCs at pre-seed and seed stage into these companies, from 73 different VCs globally. 46 million in grant funding has come in from the agencies we've introduced to these companies. 
and we have a further 40 million of investment is expected to be completed in the next 10 days into these companies. And we've built a network of over 500 VCs who are now engaging with Space Camp and as you can see from the figures, investing into these companies. We are a very valuable source of curated deal flow for these organizations. And that's fantastic for us because it builds our relationship and enables us to syndicate the opportunities we're working on. And if you look at these stats, we are outperforming the market. If you look at some of the other leading accelerators and incubators, the European Space Agency have an incubator founders fund, just the UK average itself, these figures are far in excess of what those organizations are achieving. And on that note, thank you very much. It's been great to introduce what we're doing at the Accelerator to you.